to Chinese New Year, so let's do the time trial to celebrate. Hopefully I can get first try and not make myself look like a fool. Just so you know, the last time I did this was last year, so... Okay... That's fine, we don't, we don't, that's fine, just keep going. Yeah, the car I'm using is the, well I know it's called the Osiris. <laughs> I don't know. Benefactor? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Let's be real. It's in my third garage out of five, so it's gotta be like... It can't be Benefactor, that's B. It's, it's gotta be something in the middle. No. What is in the middle? Overflood, maybe? Okay. Didn't go great. I was gonna use like a Chinese car, but like, do they even have Chinese cars in GTA? Obviously, they have them in China, but I don't know if they really sell them anywhere else. I feel like they're. <laughs> I saw a YouTube video once, someone like bought a car from AliExpress. It was like the cheapest car you can buy. But then it ended up being way more because they had to ship it themselves from China. Yeah. So I just settled on a red car. Anyway. This, uh... If we don't make it in time, I guess we'll just try again with a different car. Because... I'm just doing this for a little bit of fun. I'm not really trying to be here all day. Maybe I'll try it with the Cyclone. I think I have that painted red right now. This car... I don't know. It's like... I feel like you have to go really, really, really straight to get into like the really high speeds with this car. For like a long time, you know what I mean? Like, see these small steering adjustments I'm doing? I feel like that's killing my speed in this car. That's just the feeling I get anyway. We don't have a speedometer, so who, who freaking knows, right? Maybe I'll try in the Krieger just to, just to use it, you know? Here's definitely a classic. Do you think they take into account traffic when they design these time trials? Imagine if I was using like... Yeah, you have to use like a supercar or something for this one. Like, look how close it is. Even in a supercar, how would you do this in like a van? I don't think it's gonna happen. In fact, oh um, yeah, we're not even gonna make it in this. I mean, that's fair, we crashed at least twice. Alright, busting out the cyclone. Can't have music. Did I have music on for the previous one? Okay, let me just bake in a little message here. Just in case my first clip had music in it. Uh, I just, in the first clip I just said that I was doing this for Chinese New Year celebration. And then we got to the end and we were short by like... 
That's a tough turn. I, I should really find a better path at the start. Surely I would have noticed if there was music, right? Hopefully. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried actually that maybe this car is really good at acceleration, but maybe the top speed is worse. That would be tragic. What the hell is happening right there? <laughs> There's so much shit in the way. Well, I mean, if this car is faster than the last car, maybe we can still make it. I was really close and I did crash twice in the last one. Okay. But I also had one of those like mini crashes kinda like that. So we're still on pace, maybe. Depends how good this car is. Oh my, okay. You didn't see anything. Alright, I have to admit I have not driven this car in like... Oh, here's a good path. Nice. Yeah, I have not driven this car in a long time. I remember it being like good handling, like it gets maybe a little crazy but it always pulls through. That's kind of how I remember it. So <laughs> let's see if it holds up still. Oh my god. This is embarrassing. Let me try that again. Sorry, keep in mind I haven't really been playing Grand Theft Auto at all for a while. Well, I mean, a tiny- Oh my god! What is wrong with me? I'm feeling no... No... Um, this is a very specific word I'm looking for. Something similar to cohesion. Maybe I'm, maybe the word I'm looking for is synergy or resonance. There's no resonance between me and this car. We're vibrating on different uh, wavelengths. It feels fast as frick on the straights. Okay. Okay, a little slippy there. I don't know. It feels different than I remember. Kind of. What the fuck, dude? Why would he swerve in front of me? Actually, I saw a Reddit post about that exact thing. People were complaining, they were like, Does anyone notice the cars just swerve in front of you now for no reason? And the theory among the commenters is pretty much just they do that to waste your time to make you play longer. <laughs> you know, I guess they want to like make you feel like buying money so you don't have to actually play the game by making it suck. Go figure. I'm not really vibing though with this car right now. Especially like the turning. Uh, I think I'll try another one. Apparently I painted my 300R 
at some point. I don't really... I barely remember that, I guess. Kind of. I think it looks pretty good, actually. It's not very... Well, I don't know. Actually, maybe... Well, I don't know what colors are associated with China, so I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna guess. No point. Now, this car is steering a lot more like how I want a car to steer. This feels good. <laughs> I don't know, did they change the Atali GTO at all? Or did I just get bad? Maybe I just need to break a little bit more. We we got a little bonus with this car too, you know, it's armored. And this is a public lobby. I always get messed up here because there's those two turns and it's like... I should really stop looking at the mini-map there and just probably, like, figure it out visually, honestly. I think looking at the mini-map is the number one thing that messes me up in that car. What was that? That was so weird. It was like, it was like I hit them, but there was no collision. I just kind of slid. <laughs> I just kind of, like, slid harmlessly off of them with no sound or sparks or anything. That was weird. So this car is pretty sick looking, isn't it? It's growing on me more and more. It's kind of weird too. It's like, what is that? Is that blue or green? kind of like I don't know why it's reminding me of, I want to say the fairy god, no, the tooth fairy from, from, oh my god, what is that show called again? Fairly Odd Parents. Sorry. My memory is trash, but. Wasn't the tooth fairy, didn't she have like this? I can't remember. I feel like I'm maybe confusing it with another show. Because I'm I'm remembering two Tooth Fairy characters from cartoons. One's like attractive and one's... Maybe, maybe that wasn't... Maybe the other one is... Uh, I don't know. Let's just stop talking about this. Like, trying to sort through old memories. It's... No one cares. Hopefully I'm not like bothering people who just want to see a time trial. To be fair, I don't really know why you would. It's kind of one of those things, you know, it's like fun to do, not so fun to watch necessarily. I like sports. Baseball. Golf, I guess. I to play golf. I think I went to a driving range once, but like, didn't really do anything. I don't think this car's fast enough. Did I crash? I don't think so. I got pretty much the same distance as the Osiris got, but the Osiris crashed. Two and a half times. Sheesh. Uh, I guess I'll just try. I don't really know like what the good fast cars are now. I guess the also Virtue and the Krieger maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. 
what to do. Alright, let's try out the Nero Custom. First though, is there any way I can get onto this highway a little cleaner? Not really, I gotta, I gotta just do it visually. Also, I, I th I'm pretty sure I like spun out on... I don't even know how to describe it. Like this is like long straight part that I kind of spun out on. Ooh, look at the lines, dude. That was hot. Uh, if I remember right, this is a really good car. Okay, this is a little... <laughs> what am I supposed to do, dude? Damn! Dang it, my great line was wasted. Ugh. Excuse me. Hmm. I was gonna say, maybe I should go straight and turn left on the other side of the warehouse, but... I think it makes more sense to turn left right here while we're still at a lower speed and just speed out of it, you know what I mean? So that way we don't have to take a high turn speed up there where we have to like slow down and then re And then re-speed up. Just getting bad. By the way, if you want to see me complete this time trial, just go on my channel a year ago, you know? You'll find it. There was kind of like a little bump in the road there that didn't affect me at first. Dude, that always happens. Like, you get a god run, and then you can never do it again. That was good. Maybe I'm just thinking too much, you know? Just, it's okay. I, I chalked that one up to anxiety. Because I was like, a turn's coming up, turn's coming up, gotta be ready, gotta do it, can't miss it. So I was like trying to kind of pre-turn, I guess you could say. Not pre-turn, but like, in my brain pre-turn, you know? Like, put the input for my hands to turn faster than I think I need to in my brain to compensate for slow reaction time. Does that make sense? And then in the end, I just went too fast. I'm sure everyone's experienced that a billion times. Okay, this is the part I was talking about where I didn't know how to explain it. This little bin right here, you gotta slow down for it. I think in the end, it'll be faster if you just slow down for it and get through it safely. What could I have done? I saw it coming too, man. I feel like the game just spawns cars in at the precise distance. Like, the game calculates... What you're... No, let's, let's just restart. time you see business battle crates. It's like the only thing I ever see. Important you don't get going too fast right there or you might just spin out. Okay. Well, that didn't go well. 
I think I got going too fast actually. And I also didn't commit early enough to the turn because I was scared. Let's try it again. See, I'm now I'm trying going left of these yellow pylon thingies. It, I don't know, it's hard to get, it's hard to like rein it in right there, you know. You're going a bit too fast, I think. Plus there's a little bump in the road that kind of like unstabilizes you. Good. That was great. Getting through all the stoplights, which are always red for some reason. The traffic just gets dumber and dumber, doesn't it? Like, they can't even drive around parked vehicles anymore. Okay. You guys are in my fucking way. By the way, why is there always a box truck coming onto this off ramp every time we get to it? Am I the only one noticing that? You start seeing these patterns and it just kind of... Kind of feels like they lazied out a bit with the car spawning algorithm. Well, we did have a pretty ghastly turn onto the highway, but everything else is fine, so maybe we can do it. Maybe we're on pace. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was a squeeze, man. I felt them. I felt them. I just felt those collision boxes rub up against each other. Felt it in my body. In my body. In my body. Okay, let's not get that stuck in my head. <laughs> Please. Can you hear this, like, chewing my cheeks? Did who gets into the turning lane that far in advance without looking behind them for cars going 200 miles per hour? By the way, that reminds me. There was uh, one of those events, like a, like a business battle or King of the Hill, one of those type of things, and it was like, Go as fast as possible in the car, right? So we had a speedometer, but the game was trying to tell me, tell me that like I was going like 330 miles per hour. <laughs> it's like, are you shitting me, dude? And that was just in a car. That was just in like a, a, a supercar on a highway, right? That wasn't like a car with a booster or anything. It's like, dude, I'm going like maybe 150. If I'm lucky, why did, why is the game like lying to me? So as you can see, this car is a lot faster than, than the 300 R. Ooh, can I throw any fucking harder? Holy fuck! What was that? Are you shitting me? Oh my! Fuck this game.